They are a family owned and locally operated distillery, which produces what has been called one of the best vodkas in the entire state. Well, thank you. I'll say that's a pretty good title yeah. right there. Kendra Walker from St. Yeah. Petersburg Distillery is here to give us a taste of what they are all about. Hello, how are you? Welcome I'm back. Well, thank you. It's good to be back. It's exciting. Yeah, good to be back for fall. But for those who have not tried yet what you guys are making uh, right here in St. Pete, kind of give us a little general overview. It's pretty cool. Okay, so uh, basically we do have five different brands, mm -hmm. uh, nine products. We have our um, Banyan Reserve Vodka, which is our front runner, Florida's craft vodka right now. Um, we have a whiskey and orange liqueur. We have three different rums, a gin, and also a honeymead wine. So, okay. a lot going on. Oh, yeah, we do. We keep it interesting. So. Uh, which I got to say, normally when it comes to fall, I go to my like fall beers. Yes. But I'm excited because it seems like these days there's so many popular fall drinks. There are, and that's exactly what we're going to talk about uh, this morning. So. Okay, I, I will already Where say you I, start? I'm noticing yeah. a few of the ingredients, which has my interest <laughs> so, peaked. We'll go ahead. We'll do the lighter one first. We're going to do a Banyan cocktail called the Swashbuckler Shake for those Buccaneer fans out there Aww. for a Saturday. So we're basically just going to take some of our Banyan Reserve vodka. Which I hate to be such a girl, I know. Were you going to point out the same thing? Yeah, Carly and I are always on the same jar page. shot glasses. We're also adding in our orange liqueur, giving our tipplers some love here. We have a homemade raspberry cordial. An elderflower liqueur and lime juice. Okay, so wait. Oh, come, sounds very fancy. I was yes. going to say, yes. where do you get these the, ingredients? The flavors again. What we're all, we'll go in this. We have our Banyan Reserve Vodka, okay. our Tipplers Orange Liqueur. Orange? Yes, orange. Uh, we also have a raspberry cordial. Raspberry. Yes, lime juice and an elderflower. Okay, liqueur. now that seems like it's going to be very sweet. It is. Okay. Uh, it is going to be pretty sweet. These things get kind of stuck here. So. I was going to say, because I'm interested. I guess what always fascinates me about when people, when people like yourself come on our show is the different combinations of things. Because I would have never thought to put an orange liqueur with some of the other things that you just talked about. You know, that's what it kind of sparks my interest. Oh, yeah. I would have never done that. The orange liqueur, actually, um, it plays into the banyan very, very well. Okay. And it's just a great mixing drink. So we have a little football straw here. Oh, That's for right. you. I thought maybe this got placed up here by mistake. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> now we're going to use, um, we have our great pumpkin chai. I tried to tie in Charlie okay, Brown. Yeah. I'm a big fan oh, of Charlie that's Brown. Good. That's not too sweet at all. This is good. Thank it you. It totally complements each other. So we have our whiskey that we're using, our sweet corn whiskey. Okay. We also have a chai tea simple syrup. Oh. We have a little bit of amaretto. I like lemon juice. Sweet, yep. And then we're also going to add some pumpkin puree. This is what I was excited yeah. about when yes. I was talking about, folks. This pumpkin here. The pumpkin. That mixed pretty good. That's it pretty does. thick. All right. I know. I you really got to give it a good shake. <laughs> I'm a skeptical, too. I'm not going to lie. All right. Well, you are pouring this up. When can people come and see you and check out what you guys are doing? Well, right now we are still just a production facility. Okay. Uh, we are hoping um, to open up a tasting room, so mm -hmm. that is in the works. All right. So we're just going to pour this in here. Oh, look at that. It looks like pumpkin it in the does. glass. It's going to be so amazing. This is definitely and one I of my favorite. And I don't see any pumpkin. I know, right? You oh, mix that pretty skeptical. good. Also, we're going to add a couple of dashes of bitters here. Okay. And then I like to top it off with nutmeg to give it a little extra Ooh, fall this flavoring. This is fall in a glass. It is. All right. And that is for you. We don't need to mix it up or anything? All uh, right. Nope. Sounds Just good. Just as is. That's falling in glass. That is delicious. <laughs> Absolutely. Cheers, Absolutely. Natalie. <laughs> Where can people find more recipes like this? Obviously, mm -hmm. we uh, have you here to give them. Absolutely. But do you guys are constantly making up new recipes? We and... are. Our uh, in-house mixologist, mm -hmm. um, he is creating a lot of new cocktails that we're going to be putting up on our website. So be sure to look out for those. It's going to be wonderful. All right. Well, thank you so much. We thank look you for to having me soon. Absolutely. I was going to say, maybe put her to the test too yeah. for Christmas. What do you think? <laughs> oh, I yeah. like that idea. There's a website <laughs> on your screen. Thanks again for coming in.